All right, so the gym downstairs was a little bit lame, so therefore uh, it kind of threw a kink in my plans to get this video out to you yesterday, so I'm sorry about that. Hopefully no one was like sitting there waiting by their Facebook waiting for this to pop up on their news feed, but, uh, but I have it for you today. So uh, today it's all about the legs, a little butt, generally a whole lower body uh, per your request. So thank you very much for those of you who have voted, and uh, here you go, you get what you want, right? So we have it in sets of... Uh, mostly it's going to be like a push-pull combination for, for a lot of the exercises that we're going to do. We're going to go two sets or two exercises for 10 reps, two for 20, two for 30, and we're going to finish off the round with a 40-second jumping jack break. How fun, right? Okay, so uh, to start this all off, the reason why the, uh, the gym was lame was because there was a treadmill, a recumbent bike, and a, an elliptical, which is great. However, I was looking for some weights, so that way I actually had something to like use. But, um, but that's all right. Anyway, so I want you at home to either use the heaviest resistance bands you can with this or the heaviest weight that you can use with good form, okay? So we really want to work on our strength and our power today. Use the heaviest weight that you can without your form breaking down, okay? So once you have that and once you've done your warm-up, so make sure you're all warmed up. Make sure you take five to eight minutes to do that. We're going to get started, okay? So the first thing that we have is a set of 10 burpees plus a squat jump, okay? So really take your time with this one. Don't do these if um, if you have any issues with your knees, if jumping's an issue for you. I want you to just basically do a goblet squat. So take a one heavy weight, hold it here at your chest, keep those elbows up, and then squatting back. Make sure you're keeping that weight back on your heels. For those of you who can do this right along with me, here we go, we're gonna go to 10, you ready? And down, out, push up, push up, you're gonna jump it up, get in your squat position. Jump up. There's one. Here we go. And two. And the hair's coming undone. It's good. <laughs> when you jump around a lot and you look like a mess at the end of it, it's good. Where are we at? Nine, I think. And if we're not, let's do one more. All right. Whew. Fix my hair here a little bit. We're going to go into 10 good mornings. Now, this won't be quite as effective for me since I don't have any extra weight. But you can really try and contract the hamstrings. Like, it's almost like you're kind of like squeezing your knees. Squeezing your butt a little bit, you're gonna feel the muscles here on the back of your thighs contract. When you're gonna do that, you're gonna hold your weights. I pretend weights here. Here, right in line with your shoulders, keeping your core strong, sticking the booty out a little bit. Chest out. You're also gonna try and flat back. So point where you're gonna feel that stretch down the back of your legs. Nice and strong here. Sitting back up again. Nine more. Make sure you're not tucking your chin down and running off the back. Almost lead with your chest. There you go. This is really great if you have access to a barbell. Barbell will go right across the back of your shoulders, just like, uh, uh, like they would for a back squat. Good. All right, now onto our set of 20. Hey. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do next then, you can go ahead and go upstairs, sorry, your things. Okay, sorry about that, the iPad's freaking out. Okay, next we're going to do 20 sumo squats. Sumo squat, nice wide stance, your toes are going to be pointing out to like 10 and 2 on your normal personal clock here. Now as you squat down, you want to think of this, someone has their hands on the inside of your knees or your thighs, are pushing your legs open, okay? Maybe I should do it facing the camera, what do you say? <laughs> so, for those of you that have your weight, hopefully you do, get the heaviest weight that you can, if you can find. I want you to hold one heavy weight here, just like that, hand stacked over the other shirt. Make sure you don't uh, crisscross your knuckles because it's gonna hurt your hands. Crisscross here, chest out, shoulders back, and lowering down, pressing out every time. It's a different kind of squat. What's great about squats is not only are they just a wonderful exercise in of themselves, there's a lot of different variations that you can do. Something like that. Make sure you really 
keep the, the knee over like the first and the second toe. So all the different variations we have can work different muscle groups and target things in different ways. So you'll notice how these squats feel, like on your, the butt and the back of the legs here, working different parts of the glutes. There's three parts to your glutes, did you know that? Well, did you know that? I have no idea what number around. We're gonna go to 20 though. When you finish your 20, we're gonna go into, what do we have next for pulse ups, I think. See, this is a good thing why I keep everything written down, because I forget. So, this is another one similar to the good mornings. You're gonna already pre-contract your hamstring muscles and your glutes. You already want to be squeezing before you even start this. Hands and knees, you're taking, uh, you're flexing your, your ankle and you're thinking of trying to get the sole of your shoe towards the ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, if you have ankle weights, that's great just to add some uh, more intensity to it. Other side, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, twelve, eighteen, fourteen. Keep squeezing. Eighteen, twenty. Good. All right. Next verse of thirty. We're still in round one. Don't be giving up yet. All right. Ah, this is my favorite. So people always go, "How do you get a butt?" Three things I always tell them: squats, lunges and ballet. Now usually people just pretend that they didn't hear the third part. So, because <laughs> ballet, everyone thinks that it's either uh, really sissy and girly if it's a guy, and the girls think, well, I'm not a prima skinny ballerina, and therefore I shouldn't be able to do it. It's not true on either space, okay? So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get turned out, and just like how you were first in most spots, okay? So I want you to just think 10 and two. We're just taking our uh, stance a little bit closer. So you want shoulder, hip, right over your leg, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Now this is um, the variation of a, a ballet exercise, like a, a degage is what it's called. We're gonna get fancy. We're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna do a little one leg squat. So just a little bend in your knees. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. This is tough as she's on. <laughs> Can't just get stuck in the carpet. Squat, two, three, Four. Now, don't worry, I, I can see like, my legs like going up to arm height. That's all right, yours isn't gonna go there. You only go out as far as you can, in terms of your turnout, and you only go up as high as you can. So if that means you get to like knee level, that's fine. Up. And just check in with yourself. It's kinda nice to do it from a mirror, just make sure everything is staying in line. And they should burn pretty quickly. Ooh. Again, no, I don't number on it. We're gonna go to 30, and 30 for the other side. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. So when we're working different parts of our glutes, not only is that making us strong in different muscles, but it uh, lifts your butt in different ways. So you know like the, the Brazilian butt lift craze that's going on right now. What they're doing, our exercise is just like this, putting the legs in different various positions and they're working all the different parts of the glutes that help lift and shape and do all that great stuff for the bum, okay? Once we've done our 30 of our ballet move, we have 30 lunges. Now ideally, if, like for me, I have a long straightaway in my hotel room here. For the sake of you being able to see me, I'm just gonna stay in place. But I want you to hold your weights down here by your side, here at your shoulders, or if you have heavier weights, you're a little more advanced. Why don't you take one of those weights and hold it up overhead, right in line, okay? Lunge, you're gonna take a big step forward. Try and get that back knee towards the floor, really opening up the hips. So you'll see from the side, when my, my knees bend, knee, ankle, foot, all over it. My hips nice and open here. Okay, so you're gonna get a little bit of a hip flexor stretch, as well as some movement. So here, up together and step down up together one more down up together i'm gonna go backwards you keep going forward <laughs> i'm gonna switch mine up just so you guys can see if you want to do exactly what i'm doing it's fine it'll be 10 for each 
leg for me because I'm going three forward. So with this, we did our 10 burpees plus squat jump plus 10 good mornings. So 20, we did, sorry, I can't talk and lunging kind of at the same time. Yikes, huh? For our set of 20, we did sumo squats and our pulse ups, 20 for each leg there. And 30, we did our belly move, a little squat, degage combination here. And then 30 lunges. All right, we're gonna pretend that's 30. Make sure you do get to 30, don't, don't cheat yourself. We're gonna do a 40 second jumping jack break. Get our stopwatch out here. Now again, if jumping's a hard thing for you, modify jumping jack right here. Just a little bounce. Feet never really leaving the ground. The rest of us though, we're doing full jumping jacks. We're going to full 40 seconds. See if I can find my stopwatch on here. How's that for speed? Ready? Three, two, one, go. A little faster. Fifteen more seconds. Keep it going. You got it. Three, two, one. Press. Good. Kick it out. A little calf stretch if you need it. Alright, so, 10 burpees with a push up, jump it up, set, your, ooh, set yourself in a squat, squat jump, alright, 10 of those, 10 of the good mornings, strong back, leading with your chest, 10 there, 20, sumo squats, nice wide stance, weight held here, chest out, shoulders back, like so. 20 of the pulse ups, 20 for each leg, small motion, squeeze and press, 20 each leg, 30 each leg of our, <laughs> 30 there, 30 there, and then 30 lunges, 40 seconds of jumping jacks, three full rounds, so you do two more past this one, and then you're done. All right, we did it. Great job, have a wonderful rest of your day. Sorry, I just got a day late, but happy Sunday fun day to you. And we'll see you real soon for the meditation video.